Welcome to Programming Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about Sonar Module. Okay, let's go. This is the Sonar Module that we use in this video, and its name is HCSR04. This module is quite popular to learn about it, and the community around the world usually use this module to detect object. Okay, and on this module there are four pins. BCC and GND, this module it operates at 5 voltage and two pins right here. The first one is trigger. This pin will receive a signal from Arduino and this is the echo pins. The echo pins will transfer a signal to Arduino. Okay? Signal in from Arduino to trigger and signal out from modules to Arduino. Okay? And as you see on the left is a sonar transfer because it has the teeth right here. And on the right is sonar receiver because it has a R right here. Okay. This is how the modules work. First, uh, first the sonar transfer will transfer away to the object. And then the receiver will receive the reflected wave is echo from the object. And the distance between object and modules is the distance we will we will find in this video. Okay, let's start. We will know how to get the distance to detect object. First, we have to get the speed. Okay, we have to know the speed of sound. Okay, to know the speed of sound, we'll click here. You can search it on Wikipedia about speed of sound. Okay, pull, scroll down here. About is follow to temperature. So my temperature right here about twenty five to thirty. So I will plus to this bit of sound and divide by two. Okay, three four nine plus three four six is and divide by two about three four seven point five. Okay. Okay, three four seven point five and this is meter per second. Okay, but the second is too large to calculate because the signal is fast. So we will convert it to the microsecond and centimeter. Okay, move to Google and shirt uh to centimeters. Here, we will convert from meter per second to centimeter to per microsecond. Okay. Uh, we have three, four, seven point five. And after convert, we have zero point zero three four seventy five. Okay. Okay. After we convert, we have. 0 0.03475 centimeter per microsecond okay and this is the speed okay we can get the speed and the second we will get the duration let's see the time you can call it the time okay okay as you know the transmitter we transfer and receive in a time so we can call it a period okay a period you can call it et the Period time is transfer plus receive, okay? A transfer and receive in a time. So, uh, to calculate the distance between the modules and the object, we just need to calculate a receiver time. So, we will make a t divide by 2. We can get the time, okay? Okay, and the last one, we have a basic physical formula right here. If you want to get the distance, okay, we have distance is speed multiplied by time, okay, we have distance is V, multiply time 0 0.03475, multiply with T divided by 2, and this distance is centimeter, okay, so we will move to coding, okay, uh, before to send a signal to start, we will send a low signal right here to ensure a clean high pulse. Okay, 
and then we will transfer a signal in 5 microseconds or more to start to trigger the trigger pin to start to transfer a wave to the object okay and then to read the signal to read the reflect wave from the object we will use the pulsing function to get the time between high and low signal okay uh, example I have a signal right here the pulsing will help us calculate the time between this okay pulsing this is the pins okay pins and this is high high I mean this will calculate high when when the signal is high and but if it's low it will calculate the signal oh sorry oh uh, it will calculate the signal right here low signal okay it will return a uh, int the okay and that's how the pulsing work okay and then we will assign it to duration okay pay attention we will use the delay microseconds right here we don't use the delay as the reverse video okay okay and this is the diagram we have four pins vcc to 5 voltage gnd to gnd and trigger pins and we connect to pin number six and the echo pin will be connect to pins number seven okay let's check my circuit okay this is my circuit i have four wires at the diagram red black orange and green okay and this is my donor module i also have four pins like the diagrams vcc gnd trigger and echo pins okay i will put it to the red test board Okay, and now I will connect one by one. Five voltage. Five voltage. G D. G and D. And I will connect two pins, the trigger to pin six. The last one to pin seven. okay now i have a project right here okay this is the code and the chick i pin six i call it pin seven i set up the zero begin to read the distance with the chick and i said let's see the output and the echo is input okay input from module and output to module Okay, right here. Set low to clean high pulse and trigger to start, and then read the pulse. And time right here, I will set the duration by divide by two as I said, and speed right here is zero dot zero three four seventy five. Okay, and I will I will uh, call as the formula distance by time plus speed oh sorry multiply with speed okay and this is float float to get the point okay okay now i will connect to my arduino okay loading code
Oh, Papa Zero Monitor. Okay, is written to the Zero Monitor is fifteen point ninety five. Okay, fifteen and between fifteen and sixteen centimeter because uh, the I have a phone record right here, so it's detect the phone and the distance from the phone to the modules about. 15 or 16 centimeter. Okay, now I will uh, try. Okay, I lost the signal, so I will check again. I will turn it right here. Okay, this will take my hand longer, far, further, and shorter. Okay, you can uh, use this module to detect uh, object to turn on LED or do anything you want. Okay, thanks for watching this video.